Hi. Do you remember this game? Do you remember this big, chunky menu and this borderline patronizingly large text? Do you remember this ashy, desaturated world? Um, Grey and like it's got a layer of greaseproof paper over the screen. Yeah, um, Elden Ring has really put some wrinkles on the face of Dark Souls 3, my one true love. But. One of the perks of not uploading for three years is that I did have a lot of footage I wanted to upload, so I'm going to review that right now. So I'm with the Dark Knight. This guy's classic Dark Knight. I'm not talking Batman, although this guy's a Joker. Um, he looks creepy, got a dark hood, using dark infused weapons. Every hit does that dark... Um, ...that we love. The real MVP and focus of this build is the Carthus Shotel. Really fantastic weapon. I don't really see it used very much. You can slap people around like a cheese string between your two meaty palms. It's ridiculous. And the Lothric Knight's spear does some bits as well. Uh, a bit more poise. Dirty poke. Hear, hear. I hear that. Okay, same build, different helmet, arbalist, show tool, back on deck. Oh, this guy's a fool. It's a bit like we're in a circus today, right? A few jokers swinging around their big swords. Yeah, well, you know, it's not about size, it's how you use it. One of the most successful ways to invade someone is to find a nice array of different ways of putting pressure on them and making their palms sweat. Um, I remember when I first started playing the game and I got invaded, the thing that killed me was the fact that I thought, there's no way out of this, I'm screwed, he's not gonna leave me alone, there's nothing I can do. And having maybe three or four different outlets to induce that type of terror, Puckle, is very helpful. The crown jewel of the build. This is where I'm going to bury the Dark Knight. And uh, this is what inspired my cheese string analogy I used earlier. Because I'm about to beat this guy up like a cheese string. Strips on strips. And I will admit, this is, let's be respectful, this is a 1v1. All of these have been 1v1s, not 2v1, no ganks. Um, all very respectful invasions. But I'm about to turn this guy into soup. So as you can see, it's not like gallons and gallons of damage, but you can get it off very quickly and you can keep the pressure on. I'm switching to the, I believe it's Onyx Blade. Just to, you know. Well, what timing will I use now? Oh, when's my opportunity to attack? I'm not gonna let you work it out. I'm not gonna give you a chance to work it out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's not my job. Um, you should hire someone to do that for you, because I'm not, I'm not going to help you. I'm going to use different weapons. It doesn't have that delicious R1, R1, R2 true combo you get from the Lothric Knight Straight Sword. But you can give it a go. Occasionally it hits. The range is pretty poor on the Carthus show tool. But there are some secret benefits. I know I said the cheese string thing earlier, but I mean it's... Yeah, okay, maybe it's pretty close. Maybe I was being a bit dramatic, but... Um... Interrupted! Oh, I'm gonna use a spell. Interrupted! That's the kind of frustration that's gonna make your patience slip away, your sanity slip away. Adrenaline and excitement will be replaced by disgust and boredom. And this is exactly the type of neurochemical response that helps you win an invasion. Um, you know, what was once an exciting foray has now become a struggle, a futile struggle, where you find yourself staring into your hands thinking, why, why, I can't even get an attack out. But fortunately, this player's got the shield of one to back them up, so in the instance that I do get killed, they'll get, I think it's 15% more souls. 
they do end up resorting to some interesting tactics here to uh, deal with the frustration. This is where the cheese string comes in. It's just, you can feel the rage boiling up in this player. You can feel the, the disgust towards this uh, duel. And uh, we're going to see some pro strats real quick. Old school. No victory sweeter than one placed firmly on a host's nerve. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.